now let's start to customize our monster data menu. We're not gonna do anything super fancy with this. My main goal here is just to show you how you could begin to edit this stuff. I wanna break it down into sections. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how I can take this and I can retain all this information, but maybe add to it at the bottom or add to it at the top. Like maybe we want to do some calculation or some extra visualization down at the bottom, like stats or like a little image or something. We wanna keep all this, just redraw it and then add something either before or after. And then later on, we'll, we'll talk about how we can start to manipulate this information. Okay, so in order to start this process, we need to actually create a editor script that will allow us to draw in this inspector window for this class. So we're gonna do it very similar to the attribute where because we have access to the, the thing, like the information that we want to draw, we are going to create a script that then gives additional instructions on how to draw it. Okay, so we're gonna come in here and uh, very simply, I'm just gonna call this monster data editor, or you could call this inspector, or, you know, whatever. And I'm going to make sure that this is inside of my editor folder because this is going to be a Unity editor script and I, I do not want it to save out with the build. So I need to make sure that that's in the editor folder. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here at the very top and say using Unity editor. Uh, once I do that, then I can actually inherit from editor. So this will give me access to a lot of additional stuff, but basically allow me to uh, draw inside of this inspector window. And because I need the data, like I need to know which, you know, which window or which uh, class to draw the information for, like when I select this, then I want to do my custom instructions. I need to tell it, right? I need to at the very top come up here, say cus bracket custom editor type of monster data. Okay, I wanna add some additional draw instructions to the monster data inside of the inspector window. Okay, so this is where things are gonna start getting weird again. <clears throat> Honestly, it's just, there's just a lot of stuff to remember. So you can use this as a guide, you can look back on it, whatever you need, uh, take notes if you like. By default, it's going to just draw the inspector window how we would normally expect, right? With our serialized field or you know, our attributes or whatever. <clears throat> so if I type in public override void on inspector GUI, yeah, okay, on inspector GUI right here. Uh, if I type this in, these are the instructions for drawing to the inspector window. Now, if I just type in base dot on inspector GUI, and save it, come back in here, nothing's gonna happen. Right, because right now we're just saying we want to give it custom instructions and then our custom instructions are just draw it, draw it by default. So like nothing's happening. But if we wanted to visualize this a little bit, we can start to add something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the inspector GUI and it, we could either add something before it or add something after, right? Like add after or add before. Let's just show after. Uh, let's say we want to add a little label here. We'll just say, you know, let's just draw a dotted line or something. So the first thing we'll need is we need access to the monster data. So we're going to um, store that inside of a variable and uh, we can get that as a target. This is similar to what we were doing before with the attribute. We're saying blah, blah, blah as attribute, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to show you a slightly different way. Call this data is equal to, and we're just casting it. It's equal to target. This keyword target is something that you can use when you're using inspector GUI windows. It's it's going to assign it to this right here. So we're just taking the target. We're making sure that it's the monster data and we're storing it inside of that variable here. So now we can access things like data.health uh, or data.battlecry or whatever. So we can use this data to redraw it however we like. So what did I say? So we're going to add something after. Uh, it's called editor. There's editor GUI layout. There's editor GUI layout, and then there's editor GUI. Sometimes you have access to layout functions and sometimes you don't. Uh, I would always check to see if you have access to the layout functions just because they can be very nice. But I think later on, I believe properties don't have them. So we have to do some custom stuff, but uh, there's a lot of nice stuff inside of here if you have access to it. So it's worth checking. And what we're looking for is we want to print something like print some characters uh, and draw them on the screen. So this is called a label field. And we want to give it the characters to draw, right? So if we wanted to draw a dotted line, it would be like that. There's a second parameter you can give it where if you want to give the little, uh, you see how we can label a box or something. Um, we could do that, but honestly, don't don't really worry about that yet. 
uh, I just want to show you how you can draw a label to the window. So save that, hop back over here. Uh, once you hop back in here, you will probably need to click on something or let it compile or whatever. But you can see that we've drawn our base in inspector and then we added something at the very end. It's because we're doing something right here. So just to show you, we could do the same thing before, right? Like let's say, um, what if we want to have the name of the skeleton? We'll, we'll take that, we'll use that information, we'll print it right at the top in, in uppercase letters. Let's give it a label at the very top just to make it really clear on what uh, what character this is for. So very similarly, we're gonna come up here and we're going to do another label field. So this time it's a little different because we're not just printing our, our you know, whatever we want, we're gonna pull this from the data. So we could actually say data dot uh, name. Remember it's uppercase name, otherwise we're gonna get the name of a script or an object or something. Uh, this name is the one that will be put into here, right? So once the designer puts that in. Uh, and then we're gonna just print that even above the inspector window at the very top. Uh, maybe we do something a little fancier. We'll say dot to upper. As an optional second perimeter, we can actually editor styles dot bold. All right, like we just wanna make it real big and real clear. So we're gonna all uppercase and we're gonna bold it. Save that. So check that out. We're drawing at the very top before we draw anything in the inspector window. We're drawing at the very top. Then we're doing our custom inspector. Then we're adding something. Um, another thing you could do, which might be nice, we'll add a little bit of space. Editor GUI layout dot space. I'm gonna find an amount, just whatever. Save. See, so we can kind of give that a little bit of breathing room. Just, it's a little thing, but I really wanna hammer home the idea of like we can draw before or after if we want this is how we can draw we can pull information into a label and do some fancy things with that but what we are beholden to is the normal inspector window now if we want to redraw the inspector window ourselves it will take a lot of work to redraw all this we can do it and it might be good practice to do so you know i'll show you how to do that but at a base level, just being able to add things above and below is pretty handy. So um, this is a really simple way to do it and how to start kind of experimenting with editor scripting. Like, you know, like I said, you can add little images and things and, and do that first just for practice and then you can fully customize your window later.